above normal, and that's about as okay. good as we can and get. And that's good news. probably why yeah. I saw a group of leprechauns and Fred Meyer buying sunscreen today. That <laughs> oh. tells you how the weekend's going to shape up, huh? <laughs> yeah, for the first time I wore it today. I was yeah. outside, you know, <laughs> only takes a few minutes, and then I burn. <laughs> um, but let's take a look at those temperatures right now. We're at 61 in Portland. Uh, kind of a milky looking sky, some high level clouds hanging out with us right now. We have a couple areas of low pressure. That well, that are going to be passing by uh, tonight and again tomorrow, and that's what keeps those high level clouds with us. But overall, a ridge of high pressure is dominating the West Coast and even some of the Intermountain West uh, states. It's going to be a great weekend for many of us. Uh, 40 degrees also right now, Mount Hood Meadows. Your daytime highs, if you're going to be doing any skiing here at Mount Hood, are going to be in the mid to upper 40s range tomorrow and again on Sunday. So keep that in mind. Get that morning skiing in uh, Seaside 52. We've been seeing a lot of the sunshine out here and folks getting around on the beach. 52 Lincoln City. And I think this is probably my favorite shot. It's just picture perfect. If you have any sunset pictures tonight uh, happening shortly after 7 o'clock that you want to send us, let us know. Send it to us and we'll get it on the 11 o'clock show tonight and show your picture on air. So looking at our max temps from today, we got up to 63 in Portland and Hillsborough. Scapoose got up to 65. We are at 62 in Corvallis. Our normal daytime high for this time of year is 57. Got into the low 50s there in the gorge, feeling pretty good in Bend as well with a high of 54 earlier today. A ski report showing us a nice base at Timberline, 142 inches, 122 meadows. Ski Bowl, 88 and 119 inch base there at Mount Bachelor. Uh, and of course, no snow in this forecast. We don't anticipate even seeing any chance of rain really until we get to this coming Wednesday when it's officially our first day of spring by then. Area of low pressure is going to pass by uh, tomorrow. It's going to try to get close to the coastline. You'll notice some darker looking clouds at times throughout the day tomorrow. But other than that, we're on our way to nice clear conditions by Sunday. And again, a repeat for you on Monday. Wind's going to be gusting though through the gorge at the west end, Troutdale, Gresham, uh, Washougal, out to Portland between about uh, 20 to 25 miles per hour for you. Early tomorrow morning with a repeat happening late Saturday night, early Sunday morning and then Sunday evening. We're expecting the wind to ramp up a little bit more, perhaps closer to about 30 to 40 miles per hour again at the west end of the gorge, uh, continuing into early Monday morning. So for your temperatures tomorrow at the coast, close to 60 degrees Tillamook, those temperatures right around 40 degrees for your wake up hour. Inland Valley temps also close to 39 to 40 by the afternoon will be similar to what we had today. Low 60s with mostly cloudy skies, a few sun breaks in the mix. Central Oregon, your temperature is in the low 50s tomorrow. That'll be nice. I know a lot of you out there still are dealing with the snow on the ground. Pendleton 45 for a high and the Dalles a high of 48. Government camp 47. But again, if you're going to be in the gorge this weekend, just keep in mind those winds are going to be really ramping up. Not so much for the Dalles, but if you go a little bit further west of Hood River, that's where you're going to find the strongest winds. Here's your seven day forecast. So Sunday, we're gradually getting warmer for St. Patrick's Day, about 66. Uh, but I think the biggest difference you're going to know is Sunday, it's going to be warmer and clear. And again on Monday, maybe nice. close to 70. Mm, nice. Little luck of the Irish for this weekend, I Very think. Smart. Yeah, yeah going to be a good one. Thanks, right. Natasha. Sure.